what's up everybody? Gerardo here from ProLine. And we're here to show you guys how to install our new Pro Series 32 pitch transmission on a stock slash two wheel drive truck. The new Pro Series transmission features a 32 pitch spur gear, a new transmission case with the molded in tow blocks, and a heavy duty bumper mount. This transmission will fit most Trex's two wheel drive trucks, including the Bandit, Stampede, and the two wheel drive slash truck, which you see here. And this is also a heavy duty upgrade for those of you that are drag racing and are running a slash based drag car. And being that the transmission is already pre-built, we're gonna show you guys how easy it is to make that conversion onto a stock two wheel drive slash truck. So I'm gonna show you guys real quickly what tools we're gonna to use in order to make that conversion. So I'm gonna show you guys first the uh, 1.5 hex tip driver that we're gonna use. We'll also use a 2.0 hex tip driver. And then we'll use a 2.5 tip driver as well as a uh, seven millimeter uh, wrench to be able to take off the, the tires and the axle. It's always good to keep a set of uh, cutters and little pliers around just in case you gotta grab something out of the car as you're uh, building it up. And to help us speed up the, the conversion, I'm gonna use my power drill here with a 2.5 and a 2.0 hex tip on it. That way it'll kind of speed things up here a bit. And also, you know, a good idea to have is a hobby knife in case you gotta cut something off or when you open up the packaging for the transmission itself. All right, so we'll start first by removing the tires, or well, the rear tires from the truck itself, using our seven millimeter nut wrench. Put those aside for now. Okay, once we have the tires removed, we're gonna disconnect the stock motor from the stock ESC. Disconnect the plugs, run them through the rear shock tower here. Just take them out. We'll put them back in once the transmission is back in place. So get that off. And we'll turn the chassis around real quickly and I'm gonna point out the screws that we're gonna remove in order to get the whole rear assembly off. So you have these two here that connect the brace to the chassis. That'll be able to remove this whole plate from the uh, stock uh, chassis itself. Plus you have two here in front of the shock tower they're gonna remove. And they're both 2.0 size uh, screws. So I'm gonna change the tip on the drill. And we'll start by removing the top ones first. Turn the chassis back around. Now as you can see, you can pop the whole rear assembly off of the chassis and it makes it easier to do the conversion. So we'll put the chassis aside for now. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna remove the rear bumper from the assembly. So we'll change out the uh, X tip to the 2.5. That there removes the rear bumper. Put the hardware aside here because we're going to reuse it. Now we're going to remove the body mount itself so that way it gives us access to the screws that are underneath the, uh, the body mounts to remove the rear uh, shock tower. So these are 2.0 size, so we'll change the hex tip real quickly. Take that apart, put it aside. Now we can remove the shock tower. As you can see, there's two small screws here that are holding the shock tower onto the transmission case. So that separates the rear shock tower from the transmission case. Now we're gonna remove the hinge pins from the arms with the 2.5 wrench. You slide right out once you unscrew them. That separates the arms, the shocks, and your arm assembly from the transmission case. Now we're gonna take off the rear skid plate from the stock transmission, and this requires a 2.5 and a 2.0 hex tip driver on there. So first we'll do the 2.5 uh, screws out of there. 
We'll swap it over to the 2.0. And then you've got one, two, three more screws to remove in order to remove that assembly from the uh, transmission case. There you go. It separates it from the stock transmission case. We'll put that aside. So now we're gonna remove the motor itself from the uh, stock tranny case. So let's start off by removing the gear cover here. It's got two 2.0 size screws holding it in place. Put that aside. We're not gonna use that again. Now we're gonna remove the stock pinion here. For that, you'll use your 1.5 hex tip driver. Just loosen up the set screw. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to pop off, so usually what we'll do is we'll use maybe some pliers here just to get it off, and that pops it right off. So next, we'll remove the motor itself, which uses another 2.0 wrench to take these uh, motor screws out. And the, trans, the, the 32 pitch transmission comes with some heavy duty hardware to be able to reattach the motor. So we will not be using these screws again. And once we reattach it, I'll show you which ones we're gonna use. That separates the motor. Put that aside, we don't need that. And so the only other thing we're gonna use from this stock transmission is your axles here. And in order to remove the axles, you have a small set screw that's in here that's holding onto the stock. Uh, diff gear. So 1.5 wrench into the set screw and just start removing it. Hold it, pop it right out. That's what it looks like. These come right out. Go on to the next one. This comes right off. So here's your whole stock transmission assembly itself. You will not be using any components from this here, so you can put that aside. So now we're gonna go on to the Pro Series 32 pitch transmission. I'm gonna open it up and show you first what comes with it. So here's the transmission itself. Get it out of the packaging. So like I said earlier, these are the heavy duty motor mount screws that you're gonna be using once we reattach the motor to the transmission. Here's the transmission assembly itself, all ready to go. So before we do the conversion, we have to take the uh, clear motor uh, cover off, that way we can attach the stock motor onto here. So by doing that, use a 2.5 wrench to remove these screws. There's two of them. That comes right off, put that aside. The transmission comes with a 32 pitch spur gear, and we left the option open for you to pick the size of tooth pinning gear that you're looking for. When you pick up your 32 pitch pinning gear, you can get anything between a 12 tooth and an 18 tooth to fit on here. And we found the 15 tooth to be a great solution for most applications. So now we're gonna move on to installing the stock motor onto the Pro Transmission. Like I mentioned before, we're gonna use these heavy duty motor screws to attach the motor to the transmission. And get these out of the package here. They come with these really trick blue anodized motor washers so you can install it onto the transmission. The screws themselves will be attached with a 2.5 mil hex wrench. So we'll line up the motor to the back side and install the first screw. And just slightly, slightly put it on there because we're gonna be adjusting it right now once we put the pinning gear on. So we'll attach the second screw Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the pinning gear. Now remember to check your motor. On the shaft that comes out of there, there is a flat spot on there. That flat spot is where the set screw that comes through the pinning gear is gonna attach on there. That way it'll keep it nice and snug and keep it from slipping around when the motor is rotating. So as you can see here, we have some different pinning gears. These are 32 pitch, this is the stock 48 pitch. You can see the difference in size. So for this application, we're gonna go like we said with the 15 tooth which is right in the middle of what we usually recommend. So 
So we'll line it up with that flat spot, make sure that set screw is gonna fall right on there. Slide it right in. You wanna make sure that the teeth on the pinion gear line up with the teeth on your spur gear. Make sure it's all nice and straight. You can go ahead and tighten down your pinion gear. Get that on there nice and snug. Now we're gonna adjust the amount of play that's in between your spur gear and your pinion gear. You don't want it too snug because what'll happen, it'll cause too much drag, slow down the car and, and uh, generate too much heat. So you wanna make sure you have a little bit of play in there. Move it around, tighten a little bit. As you can see, there's a little bit of wiggle in between. Spin it around, check it again. Spin it around, check it. Make sure there's a little bit of wiggle room in there. That way it doesn't bind up the pinion onto the spur gear. Once that's set, you can go ahead and tighten down your motor mount screws. What we can do next is attach the axles to the transmission that we removed from the stock transmission. Grab the axles here, grab your 1.5 wrench, get one of the set screws, get that ready. And you can see there's some through holes coming out of the diff here, which you're gonna align with the axle holes so you can put your set screw right through it. Once it's lined up in there, get your set screw, pop it right in, and screw it in. You can go all the way in until it's nice and snug. As you can see, it's in there, ready to go. Now we'll go ahead and do the other side. There it is. Your axles are attached to your new transmission. Okay, so now we can attach the clear gear cover onto the new ProLine transmission. Just lay it right over. Get your 2.5 wrench. And get the two screws in there. Just don't over tighten them. They just have to be slightly snug. And there's your gear cover on your new transmission. So now we'll just reverse the process of the disassembly and we're gonna start with the shock tower assembly. Got that laid on here. Now remember that your axles are sliders, so you gotta make sure that you slide it back in here before you attach anything on there. You have two, your left and your right. Once you get them to slide back in, put your arms on here onto the uh, the new tow blocks that are attached to the transmission and we can attach the hinge pins on here first. So just slide it right in. Slide it right in. And just screw them back in. Now you can drop your shock tower onto the new transmission case and attach the rear screws first. There it is, your rear shock tower assembly is attaching out to your transmission. So now we'll go ahead and reattach the rear body mounts. There's four screws with your two millimeter hex tip here. Now, because this uh, transmission has the heavy duty rear bumper mount, we don't need to attach the stock bumper mount that came with the car. So we'll just remove that, but we are gonna use the skid plate. So now we'll attach the skid plate to the bottom of the transmission. Turn it upside down. It drops right in. So we'll get the hardware in first. This is with the two millimeter wrench. And we'll swap it over to the 2.5. Get a little more torque out of the driver so that way it goes all the way down. So there it is, the bottom skid plate is attached now to your new transmission. So now we're gonna move on to attaching the stock bumper. 
Now keep in mind that our new heavy duty bumper mount works great with our new Stinger Willy Bar if you guys are running a slash based drag car. Or you can use any other aftermarket Willy Bar that's designed for a slash based car. So we're going to use the stock four shoulder screws here that took off earlier. And it drops right in to the stock position there. So we'll get this started here. So there you have it, stock bumper is attached to our Pro Series transmission and the heavy duty bumper mount. So now we're ready to attach the assembly onto the chassis. Turn the chassis upside down, lay it right on, and we'll start with these two screws here. Turn the chassis over and we'll attach the two screws that go on here that attach the shock tower onto the transmission. Now that's, that's all attached to the stock chassis, we can run the motor wires back through the shock tower and connect the plugs onto the stock motor. So here it is, your 32 pitch Pro Series transmission attached to a stock slash two wheel drive truck. So now you're ready to go out there, bash around, or take it out to the drag strip if you're running a slash based drag car. We hope you guys found this video helpful. If you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications and upcoming ProLine videos. And for more information on this transmission and other ProLine racing products, make sure you check out ProLineRacing.com.